This is the Coin It Podcast, sponsored by CoinCosmo.com. A lot of them, a lot of them aren't even giving up their duplicates. No, and, and, and honestly, you know, I'm as guilty as, 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 as anyone else. I've, I've actually tried to let a few go from time to time. Um, but, you know, for the most part, I really haven't sold many of my duplicates either. Right. Um, I've sold some of them. Um, but I, I really haven't just, you know, sat there and, and dug through my duplicates and said, what, what is it I can give up and, and, and what is it that I just want to keep for whatever the reason. And I'm not even trying to put together multiple sets. I think some people actually are. And, you know, that, that's great. But, you know, I, I also feel like, you know, I, I'm a collector and, you know, if, if a collector really needs something and I've got a duplicate, you know, I'll, I'll try to make the coin available to that person just because I think, yeah. you know, Hey, if I was in that person's shoes, um, I would appreciate the same opportunity. Right. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, that, that may be why I end up just letting go of something. Um, unfortunately it's been super busy the last couple of years, um, you know, working on a few projects yeah. and, um, haven't had nearly the time I used to spend on coins. I spend, you know, enough time just, you know, going through the, uh, some of the internet sites, um, going through the auctions to see what comes up. And, um, but, but I have you know, I have not gone to a show in, in probably since before COVID, I guess. Yeah. Um, although I've, I've tried to get to two or three shows and, um, had a cancel last minute just because something came up. I just, just couldn't break away. It's crazy. Um, but, um, you know, it's still, it's still, you know, nice to be able to, to place things with certain people. And I've done that before. And, you know, sometimes it's, it's not about getting, you know, the most money. It's about putting something in a home that I know it's going to be really appreciated. Exactly. And, and, and that to me, you know, it's for me personally, I'd rather, you know, not get top dollar, but sell something to someone who I know is going to appreciate it as much as I did when I bought it. Yeah. And know that I put something in a really good home and, and, and maybe that person, you know, somewhere down the road, um, the, you know, will find themselves in the position where they in turn can return the favor to yet another collector somewhere down the road. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and you know, for me personally, I, I don't see, you know, why you need to keep coins if you, unless they serve a purpose in your collection. Um, but also being a, a pretty busy guy, I can appreciate that for some people it, it's, it, it's just, they don't have the time to sit there and go through it and make that decision. Yeah. And it's just easier to say, all right, you know, um, let me just leave that in another box and I'll get to it somewhere down the road. I mean, I know I have a box of coins that I'm planning on sending off to a dealer so that he can make them available to other collectors. And it, it's right. embarrassing how long it's taking me to, to get this stuff sent off. Um, yeah. This is not your priority, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just, I, I wish I could get to it. Um, you know, but you know, when stuff's in, the, in, in a bank vault and sometimes in a bank vault in another city, it, it makes hard, it a little yeah. bit more challenging. No, for sure. For sure. 